Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man, we got some more 2K23 gameplay news, man. I'm gonna let y'all know all about it, man. I'm gonna really break it down. You know, I've talked to niggas that's made the game and that's played the game, okay? So my insight upon all of this is it's gonna be very different from um, everyone else's. But anywho, before we get into it, man, make sure y'all hit the like button. Helps the video out a lot. So firstly, Shakedown tweets out, you know, him quote retweeting um, Kyrie playing this. And he says, how the rec environment and atmosphere should look. I'm for shirts versus skins or new jerseys every season for 2K23. Great idea. And he flew out there. He was the golden boy for 2K23. And um, yeah, man, like this could be a possible thing in uh, 2K23. Or maybe in the future, that would be dope. If we get to wear our own clothing or just different clothing, period. Them damn jerseys is lame as hell. You know, um, y'all let me know if y'all would prefer a different atmosphere when it comes to the wreck. And not even, it don't even have to be like wreck. Like sometimes it could switch the whole arena type shit. You know, just something to rotate, man. You know, different type of courts to play like wreck at, you know. I, I I just think I think personally the different clothes is lit, bro. It's a lot better, man. So Mike Wayne confirms that the badges are still from you know bronze to Hall of Fame, but they now put those badges into tiers, and it'll show you like its effectiveness and shit like that. I, I'm assuming, I'm sure there's gonna be some tweaks to where some lower tier badges are better than some higher tier badges, cause you know, it's 2K, nigga. <laughs> And um, what they're really trying to do, I'm telling y'all again, you know, I heard about the build system. They're trying to make it to where we have as little badges. They're not letting us stack a bunch of Hall of Fame badges anymore. I really like that. But I know a lot of y'all who claim you want Sim, you don't really want that. You want a very easy game. You know, you don't want a, you don't want a few badges. You, you just want the game to slow down. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, man. Y'all on the hit contested shots. But yeah, how they're going to do the badge system is like you have to have certain lower tier badges to get certain higher tier badges. That's how they going to limit you from what I heard, man. And grinding quote tweeted this. Uh, and Double H basically says that, you know, for 2K23, the rep system will go by your grade. If you guys didn't know, when you play next gen, it goes off your grade, not just the constant throw of alley-oops. And it's just like your teammate grade. And um, apparently this guy says poor boy confirmed this and Mike retweeted it. Um, I don't know if this is true, but I guess this is the new rep system. man. Huh? So Mike Wayne responds to this guy saying, give defense a chance this year. He says so far from all the feedback of everyone that went and tested the game, they're saying that defense is favored over offense. So they think they in a good spot. I don't think this is true. You know, um, I think once niggas really get it down, get to pick their SIGs, the best SIGs and all that, that's when you really get a, a chance to really try. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I heard some comp niggas is testing it. Um, some YouTubers who think they're comp, but they're really not. Um, I don't know, bro. He's saying it's in a good spot. He also tweeted before that the lockdowns was supposed to be where uh they might be too op from from what i heard from the scissor nigga him breaking down the game he is sane okay y'all go watch my video i break it down my nigga it's my long video that i'm releasing sometime today it's like 43 minutes check it out man bruh the nigga is saying you can no longer press a nigga full court so how is defense and lock so so op He's saying it's a lot easier to blow by people. And the nigga saying that you can't just press people constantly because the body ups are way smaller. People was getting bailed out by body ups and all this other shit. And he's saying that basically someone, cause you know, people don't play real defense in this game. They just press you OD, like, especially when it's a bot and he sees you could dribble a little he presses OD, try to get the bump steal, tries to be annoying, all that type of stuff. But he's saying if you press now, you're destroyed. So I don't know how that means defense is buffed. I'm fucking confused. 
Somebody lying, nigga. Somebody ain't making sense. But hopefully they buff defense, man. Defense is, is my favorite aspect in, in any sport, man. I used to love playing defense when you know my player can, can run the offense and the defense at the same time. But you know, now they did more role play in 2K and shit, so you know, I had to go away from that. I used to lock niggas the fuck up, my boy. So he's saying hop steps are much more useful in 2K23, okay? Um, I don't know if he's saying they're much more useful than in 220 or just in 2K22. Um, Hey man, I'm, I'm <laughs> I keep hearing paint defense is buffed, but now like people ain't gonna be getting blocked when they're doing all these different type of dunks, and now like slashing is like more of like a focus that they're saying. Even though slashing has been OP for a while, I don't know why they're trying to say it's slasher's year, but it's kind of been like that. Paint defense is terrible in 22. It was terrible in 21, so I, <laughs> I don't know. Like, they was always them niggas. It's going to be the same shit. But um, y'all let me know if y'all are excited for that. They kind of, after 20, they kind of, like, fucked them up a little. Um, But, yeah. Um, How I view the core badges is, like, park badges. What what about y'all? Um, I guess for every attribute, you get, like, four or whatever. So, um, hopefully, they're actually hard to get. So, um... You know, people can get content out of it, and um, not everyone just gets it eventually. And I don't know, bro. I, I wonder about the effectiveness, because I'm hearing that the badges, you know, you're going to get way less badges, way less OD badges. But now they're giving us 16 more badges that won't even count towards our badge points. So in all in all, are they still giving us the same amount of badges? I'm being mindfucked. <laughs> it's like everything's like a contradiction type shit but um hopefully they're not like too od you know just cool you know content type shit finally auto steals are gone you know this nigga's a bot um he got that paul george shit on thunder you know sold out my man's what westbrook i was the only nigga on the tube complaining about auto steals bro before it was even a thing N niggas knew I would literally be holding L2 and my nigga would go for the ball. And that, that, that was one of the reasons I said these newer 2Ks are ass. They have shit on autopilot, my nigga. And they finally took it out, caused enough ruckus, got it patched. And um, yeah, bro, I don't know why no one else was complaining about that. Y'all, man, I don't know, not y'all, but you know, just the, the bot niggas. Like, come on, bro, auto steals? Come on, nigga. You ain't gotta press a button, nigga, to steal? What? So, y'all know when y'all shoot the ball, people say stuff like broken back, or, um, like, they say, like, oh, every time they shoot and they get this animation, it's really a green, but it was a white type shit. So, people are saying that, you know, basically, I don't know if this is what he means, because y'all know after you shoot, you start doing an animation. So, that would give it off if you greened or not. But like usually right after you shoot you get kind of animation um some people might pick up on it who knows if it's true or not most comp players believe it's true so every time the possession changes your boost will be refilled that seems kind of i don't know man I, I think there will be some uh tweaks in it sometimes where uh your boost don't refill especially since it's a new feature Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the feature in general. I think it's dope if implemented correctly. But um, I don't think 2K has the ability to really do that. But at least it's new. You know, they, they have like new type of content now. Hopefully it's executed good. You know, the core badges, you know, different badges. They're saying all this different stuff, different, different. Maybe it's just marketing ploys. Um... I don't know, man. <laughs> y'all let me know if y'all got any faith, man. So Paul wants to know if you can use your adrenaline bars once your stamina is drained. Baluba says yes and no. An empty stamina bar will smack down your ratings. If you still have adrenaline boost available, you'll get your normal explosive launches, but they'll be slower than if your stamina bar was full. Empty adrenaline boosts feel way slower than empty stamina, though. 
Mmm, that's a key tip. Let me tell you again, nigga. So those three little bars, if you empty them bitches, you are slower than if your stamina's completely gone and you activate your adrenaline boost type shit. I don't know, man. Hopefully this ain't no slow ass game, nigga. Hey, I, I hear you niggas on 2K Reddit trying to talk about me and shit. Look, you niggas are ass. If you have a negative win percent, you can't talk to me, bro. I play higher comp than 99% of the 2K community, nigga. And I have a 95 1% every year effortlessly playing with bots, nigga. I could carry you niggas to fucking 91%. Boy, you can't say shit about me. I'm not even a cheeser. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, like the cheeser, like y'all think, like a dribble spammer and shit? Dude, I am not no iso nigga i'm a i'm a iso god i'm not a i'm not a, a spin around hip on top nigga like shut that shit up boy weak ass niggas so mike wayne tweets out adrenaline boosts are restored on shot clock resets also toying with the idea to slowly replenish one or two if you slow down and wait long enough i don't know how i feel about that um i think that would be good <laughs> but um I think it should be implemented, but I know that because 90% of the community's ass, 90%, probably 95% of y'all niggas listening to the video. No, 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 no. Probably, no, no, no. It's probably like 70% of y'all niggas listening to the video are ass. So it's like you would want the game to slow down because of your lack of skill, you know, and not realism. Niggas is trying to use that as an excuse type shit. Um,. But he said from next maker feedback, I heard a lot of them niggas ain't even go out there and play that bitch, nigga. What you talking about? But um, so the sellouts get to give feedback. Uh, there's a lot of bitch niggas in that next maker shit, so I don't really trust that shit. And they're all ass. Um, and Mike Wayne, see the the SZA nigga, the nigga said that he don't know if it's going the boosts are going to count for defense this nigga tweeting out saying it's going to count for defense you know if you go for a steal or block attempt it will cost a boost right now look i'm trying to tell y'all again everyone keeps saying all oh, this defense going to be op right it's not making sense if you put a limiter on blocks and steals and even pressing r2 how are how is niggas defense buffed if they can't go for steals and and i'm not saying i'm in support of steel spamming nigga i've been saying that shit's annoying as fuck forever but how is it buffed if all these these different things that kind of say that y'all are nerfing it people can't go for steals blocks hit r2 i'm pretty sure y'all said if you press R2, adrenaline should activate. I don't know. Um, that's what it seems like y'all are saying. You press R2, that bitch activate. I hope, like, that sounds crazy. Um, like, niggas just have to just walk everywhere type shit. I, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, y'all niggas, y'all niggas is getting it, bro. But he says, uh, when you use up your defensive boost, you'll get a drop in your steals and block ratings. Hopefully, this gets rid of some spamming. Okay. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> Going off of this, y'all's beloved uh, Steezo and G-Man, man. They ain't, they ain't gonna fuck with this shit. They ain't gonna, <laughs> nigga, they, they ain't fucking with this shit, boy. Anywho, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Support your boy. Turn on them noties so you can get all the news about 2K, man. Unfiltered, undick sucking, no double twist gawk like these other niggas. And also, I'm going to help y'all niggas with all the best builds, best dribble moves, best jump shots. So you're going to want to sub, turn on noties, because I am the greatest, the all-knowing swan. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.